let's see how this goes. Kitty Cat is already plucking out the door. They're trying to skip. I've had him close them, well, maybe because he's doing the thing, screaming for attention at the far end of the house. You want scratch? Come on and get it. <laughs> I'm not chasing you until you start destroying things, anyway. Right, give me a second. Getting chat up. Should have done that first, but yeah. Alright, I can nice see chat. Ah, do not do that, do this. Hello, Hammer. That's unfortunate. What What were you doing that your legs are numb? Okay, I only just got in the chat before that. Ring Fit Adventure, ah. I was gonna say, I did read the thing you said about Bravely Second during the last stream. I just never found it time to actually respond to it. That was fucking funny that the the attack from the gunslinger is actually based on magic. Like <laughs> there you fucking go. It all just comes together. Where am I going? Right, we're leaving. I know we didn't find Sue's kid, but yeah. Oh, oh well, he's a big boy. He'll hunt himself maybe. And Rambo was just feeling like you know what? Let's just go. Most of them are still fizz. Ah, well. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like Gunslinger should be more of a magic based job. In, you know, right, you don't have an hour stat for it to go off of like agility or whatever. Where's the ship? There it is. Alright, so let's just fuck it. We're going in. <laughs> Sometimes you only just need the one move to justify a class. What were they called again? The, the class that learns the Rampart in Bravely Default. Never used any our ability from that class besides it's like defense buffs, it's heavy armor shit, and Rampart. <laughs> Beyond guard. Ah, I see you've just fit yourself into the party. Uh, and we'll take Chan. I think everyone else is more or less as equipped as they're gonna get. Yeah. Alright. Let's go. Oh well, shit. <laughs> All aboard. I'm gonna guess we have like oxygen generators and shit. That's probably what half of this stuff is, to be fair. Oh, damn. What's the catch? There's no catch. Oh, well, fuck me then. Space, please. First, to actually see what these ones are. Might as well wind up. Eh, crack that one. Good. Hey, <laughs> just uh, cast meteor. Just end it. Summon Leviathan. Fuck it. Uh, 
Who could you? You kill that one easy, but that's a waste. Um, try that one. Almost. I think I'll be all of them. Yep. Well timed. Noticing a trend that he seems to like the poison though. There's indeed a lot of credit. Before we run down there and go have a nosy. Let's loop back around the other side. Fuck. Hey. <laughs> God damn. So is this the advantage of... Well, the other RPGs do stuff like that, but I've never seen one take advantage as much as this one does to just give you the good shit in chests for them while they're there. They will do it to one extent or another, but never quite that much. Are you? No. No worries. For a second I thought that was a chest or it was going to be a fake chest or something, but no. I don't think we've seen the bat enemies these are based on for a while. I mean, even if they're not weak to it, you might as well set up for it. I suppose that's... Something I didn't actually consider. They're flying in a vacuum. These things are probably gonna s just suck, let's be real. We should cast Hell Void. Just end all lives. Follow suit. Set up to follow suit. Who between the two of you? Hmm. Should have saved that for his next hyper, actually, but you know, like, we can just defend and get it back, I suppose. You may need to, because, ow. You're gonna have to... Heal self. That void shield, the damage is so good with the defense. It's almost literally killing. Yeah, I really should have brought one of the... I really should have brought, uh... Saib, along. <laughs> Hello, my boy. Finish one of them. If you can. Not quite. You might be able to finish it. Go for it. Yeah. <laughs> She's the stone dead. Well, shit. And just get on with it. Nuke. <laughs> That's just promising. I've ever used this, honestly. Ooh. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, it's gonna. Ah, that's the thing, though. Ideally, I would have Sipe in there to 
source of damage is really good though, is the thing. So let's swap her out for Saib. Well, take your bets. <laughs> uh, I'm just that shit stuns me. I'm like I don't know for sure, but I almost guarantee every single one of those reviews on that tweet are from like fucking uh, like Amazon US. Really, like I fucking guarantee. Pardon me. It's great. It's just in in the wake of Parasite winning best like best picture, we just had just so many fucking Americans in particular just going ape shit, just melting down and going like just full tilt, going actually I'm just full tilt racist about this all over the place. Not even just the ones you expect to be racist either. It's fucking amazing. There's another one, I forget if I retweeted it, but I saw it earlier today while I was in work. Of like, negative views on like Amazon Prime's like stream of, like I think it was Parasite, it may have been another one. Where, uh, you know, they were all just, there's just people constantly going like, I don't want to watch subtitle film. Like, I was not in English, give me my money back. And like one, like several of them was going like, I don't want to watch a movie in Chinese, it's Korean. But they're just like, it's Chinese, I don't want to watch it. And it's just like, the page you're listing is the movie title plus, with like, subtitled film in brackets next to it. Like, it, I mean, like, I guess they can't, they don't want to read or can't read. So, <laughs> like, fuck. Oh, it's, it's so bad. Hmm. I smell a gimmick. What's the catch? Arate's getting a lot of good shit. I'm getting suspicious. Yeah, it's fucking. It. Like, that's a high tier equip, and not a high tier weapon for her. And she suddenly imp like, impressed herself in the party. I'm just saying. I've seen patterns like this before. Like, this, is, this is not new to me. Yeah, no, I fully agree with that, basically. Like, all the big award shows that are just, like, American... You know, big American award shows are basically irrelevant because they only really care about American films. Right. It baffles me that foreign film is a category, like as a it's considered a category, like a genre even. Like in even in shops here there'll be like a foreign film section. It's like, fuck off. They're just film he wanted to put it into like a subtitled film or something, like like in a shop at least you put like this is the subtitled international like, you know, foreign language if they say it. But it's just foreign film. And it's like most of the fucking movies on your racks are foreign films because they're American movies. What the fuck are you playing at? <laughs> no, that's not good. I think the funniest one to me was like several, like a lot of the people, and one of the, the most popular one was this some like fat guy YouTuber. He was like full tilt furious, screeching that a foreign film can't win. Best picture because it's not American. <laughs> like he, those are almost his exact words. Though it was fucking great. He was like, "Joker is the most important piece of our culture. Like, why didn't it win and all the rest of it?" And like, he's saying, "Like, I like, it would've been fine if 1917 would have won. You know, 1917, that British film by a British director and British crew, British actors about British characters and a British historical event." <laughs> it's just fucking. Uh, it's fucking. It's just been a smorgasbord of comedy.
I don't know. Hit that fucking song up, bug boy. Uh, yeah. Ah, that looked like I hit both of them. She is going to die. That bug needs to die first, but hey, we go. Yes, we're talking about uh, the Oscars and all the shit that's come out about it. Or Parasite, fairly deservedly winning Best Picture and just, you know, the screaming American hordes just uncloaking is like openly racist over it. It's also just dredged up shit like <laughs> cats. <laughs> cats was robbed. <laughs> uh, you're not necessarily wrong. <laughs> the greatest artistic piece of our times. That was way overkill. I wasted that. Whatever. I needed that one dead anyway. I didn't see it either. I've just seen clips from it, and they just generally made me emotionally upset, but in a way like different from something just being normally bad. <laughs> it deserved some kind of award. <laughs> award for just just the, here is like the category for what the fuck, and it's just cats is the only nominee. Here's a thought. Oh, didn't take. Sigh, the immortal. This. Oh, pardon me, save the acid one. So do this, and then. Purr. If we don't kill them first. What fiends? <laughs> uh, they're not any better. Right, provided we don't kill this, we probably will, actually, because the Zorf's hyper is going. We'll see the nuke spell yet. <laughs> like I'm just saying like either it's a promer sweep or it's, it's bullshit there's, there's no in between never actually used Finn after the mandatory section with him thinking about it I mean I thought it was really that good but then promer is also like basically perfectly tailored to me because it's just trigger being themselves in like you know super budget ultra shiny colors and just it's just constant hype and screaming throughout that was just fucking time of my life watching that Ooh. yeah promer is uh, trigger it's their first original feature film and it's goddamn great What actually came out last year that I watched in terms of anime? Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, what actually came out last year, like, like, was from last year that I actually watched last year? I guess Dragon Ball Super was January in the UK, actually. So that would qualify, I would presume. What am I doing? It's the big tunnel down there. No, I have to go around. I actually didn't watch. Didn't watch that. Didn't watch many other anime actually last year. I've slipped on it a lot. Really fucking playing video games, never mind. Hitting anime. I should get back on the ball watching like stuff that's airing. I haven't watched that Fiat show. The, the current, like, uh. Babylonia. Cause, you know, I, lo I love me some Fiat. I mean, there was Jojo actually, yeah. Thinking about it. I watched Jojo as that came out because, of course, I did. Probably for the best. Uh, the one I speak of or the one No speaks of? 
The one I speak of is uh, Fate Grand Order. It's like Demonic Babylonia or something like that. It's based off of an arc from Fate Grand Order, but like actually animated and shit. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. I feel like we should probably kill them. Hello, my son. Get that shit out, cause we're gonna need it. Yeehaw. Half. Poof. Yeehaw. Come extreme. Uh, yeah. yeah, cohort. <laughs> the void shield is really good, but it's getting her fucking murdered. Save on that, even if you fucking survive anywhere. Uh, if you're gonna use the void, then you may as well use this deny. Not that it helped too much, anyway. Uh, let's go for group damage. I should probably take that off her. I feel like her dying is not worth the damage up kick that we have. Uve Ball's restaurant is normally one of the best in Canada. You're not joking. <laughs> I mean, how involved is it with Because if he just paid the money to have it opened, I could believe that it ended up being good anyway. But, you know? <laughs> I don't- I don't think he's personally running the fucking thing, is what I mean. Uh... Yeah. Oh. Side is just a such fucking war. Hello, my son. Uh, you know what? Do the, do the, the big shit. I did way more than I thought I would. It's time. It's just the way it be sometimes. Ah, <laughs> uh, you should just fix up. Uh, we still have regen on. Um, get your giant quick. I don't the fucking like her, don't I? What? <laughs> Oh, he's meowing now. <laughs> yeah, do that. How much longer can it last, really? Yeah, he's pretty cool. He's just also generally very good as a character. I quite like Saib. Right, it's just not taking the bait, no. That'll be why. This works is only gonna hit that one, really. Uh, 
Alright. Okay. Could you take it out this turn? Maybe. If not, one of them should be able to take it out next turn with this. Oh, that's right, he's got the kitty paws. So he just regions when he falls to one. Alright, that's her. Yeah, uh, that's good. And this is why I've bought the restaurant. The only thing people talk about is the cooking. Ah, that would do it, yeah. <laughs> I figured it had to be something like that. The staff are good, not necessarily Uwe Boll's own management. At least he knew who to pick for the job. Can't fault him for that. Let's see, what the hell is that? No, I recognize that. Just do these, see if we are getting a bit disaster. One moment. Ugh. Hello. No, I don't think we did him, Emily. <laughs> Although, offhand, I don't recognize Mushoku, Mushoku Ten Tensei. I mean, that's, I suppose that is true. Sai is popular, isn't he? Oh, the big one. Right. That 5,000 damage group is just too good to pass up. Come on, Ultra Mighty. Yeah, sure, we'll give him a support stick, actually. If it's a better weapon, I should just give it to her anyway. Yeehaw. Alright, let's look into one of our... Oh, right, yes, I remember that one now. Well, shit. That's kind of funny. You, you should have held on to this news because I'm going to be doing Hitman 2 soon. <laughs> I'm really fair. That will probably take a bit because there's a game in bet at least one game in between and all, but. <laughs> Take her out. Just 
fine. She can do this. It all comes together. Yeah, I was thinking about the order of doing things, like, you know, games at the Cosmic Star Highway, like today, well, not today, yesterday in work, when things were slow and boring, and... It basically came down to, like, I should do... I'm doing Invisible Ink next, because that's the game David got me for Christmas, and why not? And then, uh... After that, I'm doing... Either Hitman 2 or Luigi's Mansion 3. I haven't decided which yet. It'll be a coin toss, I guess, when it comes down to it. Yeah, go for it. If I have the big, three big Easter kind of also have an adaptation. <laughs> I drowned a year after complaining about it. You were just ahead of the curve. That's <laughs> you were just you were just too fast about it. You didn't give it time. I mean, how could it not? Because the greatest isekai of all, Okasan Online, has come out and has proven that there is a market for this. Clearly. Oh. Uh... You'll probably actually get this off this time. Said that, but they might actually kill it before she gets nuke off. Yep. Balance in all things. Yeah, you might as well, actually. So, not really using this much. Or maybe will, if I ever give him. A different or a better shield, really. <laughs> That's tragic that that <laughs> the best of the three looks so bad. Which is weird, it's like why would you phone that one in? I mean, I say that, but we saw what happened to Berserk. It doesn't matter, really. Speaking of... Ew! Attitude 79, he's almost there. Ah, if I could get him up a bit more. These are your man spells, I know, but... How would this... Uh... Maybe they'd stack better on her, so I don't know. Or at least it would. Let's try them out, see how she does. Give them a lot of fucking money. Like, a lot of money. I guess we get to go back to the shop at some point then. Hmm. Hello, my son. How are you? Hit all three of them at once, anyway. I see. Might as well, I guess. 
I mean, that defense is significantly better, at least. Alright, what do you got? Eh, yeah, fuck it, go for it. Pretty good. It's not as great as the Void one. But it's pretty good. Come, massive. Oh, the defense difference is so significant that I wonder how good of an argument it is to keep using Void. Maybe I really should put Void on side then, if he can just become so fucking beefy already. That regular enemy attacks regulars get dropped down to like fucking... Uh... Like 9, 1 to 9 and shit. Although... I guess the question is... Does he have the, the sheer tech stat to do it? Yeehaw. Things. I mean, I assume these are ghosts, they're not exactly organic. So, I mean, fuck it, it's an attack, you might as well. Yeah, that buff for hitting organic shit matters a lot. Yeehaw. Some. <laughs> Immediate retaliation. The revive thing for that weapon carry off. I'll watch that trailer. I'll watch that trailer after I'm done, just because I have the chat on the iPad. And I'm not sure how that will go. Really. Also, I won't actually be able to hear it properly until I got. You know, on my PC and here on my headphones. Um, blah, blah, blah. Go for it. Maybe this time. Good lord. <laughs> the effect is a bit, you know, it's kind of like, oh, that's it, but then the damage. Speaking of the damage. It is just a very much better stick. Yeah, yeah, do it. No one find this until now? I mean, maybe it was cloaked or something, sure. It's just so deeply buried in space, but I don't know. Ah, quick and to the point.
Well, hell. He's become the cyber demon. <laughs> Hello. Now you're back in squeaking. I'm not following you on a little landing. If you want Scratchy to come over here. <laughs> Kitty cat. Alright. He looks kind of like a werewolf. Just a bit. I mean, that's one way to fuse. Summon the monster into your DNA. I love that description. Should have been Flood, because it's only one enemy. Well, prepare. Touch him. I might as well. Hello. No, you're not getting under the bed. You keep wanting to get under the bed if you're not allowed under there. There's no room for you anyway. Stuff to fill of boxes. Uh, hmm, probably organic. Try it. Looks organic. That number bouncing twice makes me curious if that's actually procking twice or what. There. I'll let that build up. That'll probably use all your shit though. Mm -hmm. Anyway, as well. I actually did a fair bit of damage. We're doing perhaps suspiciously well. Hello. What? What are you squeaking at? He's up on the computer looking in the corner. Got a bit to go. I want that. Um One. That's the good shit. His power grows. So I guess I dare I ask what sort of like you know furry demons were you commuting with that you turned yourself into this? And are they the aliens, or is this just like, you're using demons to get to the aliens? You yeah, honestly, he looks kinda like a Digimon, I have to say. Oh. 
fire helps us play. Six, six, six. The number of the beasts. You know, yeah, do it. What are you looking at? See, he's rolling his whole head around, like upside down, though. What are you seeing? Get down. And I reveal your even secreter form by summoning another demon into your DNA. Stuns allies. <laughs> Goddamn. I'm surprised. He did just kind of melt down. Another bot. Yeah, that's weird. That's a lot of bots recently. I wonder what, what the game is. Is this like some scam desperate for money? Who knows what she wants? I mean, I guess that's one way to do it. Oh, you're going crazy now. You were actually crazy all along. Well. Well, shit. She was, in fact, the hell god all along. Oh, that's perhaps not good. I suppose you kind of needed a scene of a giant, you know, flea ship thing cracking out of something and flying into space. <laughs> I thought this was Endgame. I know, foolish me. I really I forgot we, we hadn't paid respect. One of the core aspects of Chrono Trigger yet. The higher you did you? All right. First day on the force. Yeah, better than the last day on the force, I suppose. Yeah, cut her down. I am genuinely surprised by how this game manages to furrow this new keep. They defy my expectations on going, despite seeming like it's speeding to like an end or something. It never is. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know, the heroin one's really good, but someone else could probably benefit from that. Gold Blast, Gold Avalanche. I mean, the stats on that are really good, though. And who are we taking in, really, I suppose, is the question. I mean, Saib is coming in, that's basically just, you know, a guarantee. 
Um, Ooh. Side's coming in. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure it just felt like I went down forever. It was great all the way. Uh, that was a like a masterpiece. That one. And just when you think, oh, it's about to go on, the game just like slugs you in the gut. It's like, ha ha! It keeps going. I suppose actually that's fitting, man, doesn't it? It's captured that aspect pretty well. You, know, you just get your shit. Um, you might as well take your shit, I guess. Fuck it, why not? Let's see how we go. Suited and booted. Well, yes, that's a side quest thing, but I feel like, you know, <laughs> we're in it. Fuck it, let's go. That being said, I have to go take a piss, so I'll be right back. Give me a minute. Alright. Off we go. Well, I was wondering where you got to, actually. Actually coming out in some kind of force. This organization is a lot bigger than I thought it was. Like my first impressions of it was, oh, secrecy. So we're like we're some kind of relatively small but probably well-funded organization that fights super crime. But no, this is a fucking warship fleet. I did not. One second. Oh yeah, I read about this actually. It was, it was actually after we mentioned it on uh, the last stream. I remember reading this. I was like, "Oh, well, that's fucking funny!" Like <laughs> the whole day or whatever, or a few days after we were talking about that. Oh, he's down. New mini switch from the conservatives to the far left and the center left. That's fucking funny. <laughs> Switching from conservatives to left and far left. That would be fucking ideal over here. It's an interesting time for elections in general. Instead, I'm reading that and was like, oh, that's good news. You at least had, you know, like, the spine to go like, oh, well, maybe not the spine, but, you know, like, the the wherewithal to go like, you know, this is going to make us hideously unpopular. Time to drop out. It's gonna destroy a planet, isn't it? It's gonna raise this whole area to nothing. Oh no, the hive. Oh, that's unfortunate. It's the it's the Lavo's day of disaster. And still, in some ways, that's good. The fact that the, that was able to happen, no, it wasn't great. But the fact that he was successfully, like, you know, like pressured out of the position, it shows there is at least enough pushback against that shit that you know, there's some sense prevails. All right, sick. Just to be safe. <laughs> hey, it's the game's title. I mean, if this is an end game now, I don't know what is. <laughs> <laughs> I 
That's funny. Excalibur. That's funny. <laughs> oh, fuck. Are you serious? Just immune to the all stats plus 10, immune to all ailments, and just more hyper damage. Nah, that's it, I'm gonna give. I was gonna say, because if this wasn't, like, fuck me. <laughs> Let's check the auto path first. Yeah. Actually, we're right enough. Our party. Before we actually get into any fights. Yeah, we'll keep... Uh, we're gonna see you. Uh, King Inclination says Zorks of... But now, fuck it. See how you do. Right enough. This is knife for again. Sixty hackitude. You would have enough. You know what? Let's see how you do. Your your defenses are gonna suck. There's no two ways about it. But you can buff the living shit out of your of your own defenses. So let's see how that dynamic goes. Alright, so what's all your deal? Pray to the Robo Lances. Okay, why not? All nines. Yeah, you might as well do this. Fuck, that's damage. Yeah, okay, that's a combination. We've got one going. Uh, hang on to that. Let's go with... Uh, oh, that's nuts, that damage. I see about getting Sue a better shield actually. Well not it. Oh. oh wait, no, the void thing. Alright, shit. Forgot about it. Oh, it's always next turn. Yeah, I never gave him one after starting one. That's kind of bad. Woman is the leader of the CDU. Probably the next German Chancellor. Step back. They're doing what they want. <laughs> That's fucking tragic. Well, that's the sort of point where everyone you just kind of sack everyone involved there, just kick uh, kick them out. They want to work with the far right so bad they can just fucking join the far right's party and get no seats. Breathe on him. Slip them up, I guess. I mean, it would have worked in the other one, too, really. 
Anna Kramp Knarmbar. <laughs> yeah, that would have been. I'd love to see like a fucking BBC reporter try and pronounce that live on air. That'd have been a thing. I mean, we don't all speak German, Hammer. Come on. <laughs> Anna Gret Kramp Narmbar. Bauer. Wait, no, I'm up, up a cut again. Fuck it, whatever. Yes. It's pretty close. Oh, well, fuck me then. Alright. <laughs> Maybe it isn't that hard to say. If even my mangled ass can say it. Yeah, we need to give you. Yeah, we need to give you something better. Uh. Yes. Yeehaw. Other than the R's, which you need to roll more. <laughs> uh. I could see some American TV show who struggle with it. I mean, I feel like they all would, but also they would never actually talk about German politics because, you know, those are foreigns. They don't speak English. They don't speak, you know, true America. I mean, I guess that's about as clear cloud as I get, I guess. They are indeed ancient spooky ghosts. Oh, well, something else used our fucking, like, sign effect for that. Well, hell. Beat him. Should use the other one actually. Easy to say slow, but feels like a tongue twister and said fast. I don't doubt. I have them like break it down into like four different words or five different words to actually put it together. Said as well as that, and you know. Actually, let's realize we should adjust the size uh, tool set. Give them back the thing that lets the next program, like you know, be free to use, and then just start laughing. Void Blaster. Ah, uh, one. I keep just disarming this ghost. Hey. Moshiko Tensei is. For web novels, what Susan e Harry Susan Mia was for most light for light novels, that's fucking nuts. I remember that one vaguely. At least I remember discussing it in Hitman. No, it'll be interesting to see how they manage that for an anime. Yes, that's what I was doing. Uh, honestly, I would actually tap this one back out for wireless. And yeah, I'm just gonna keep saving my changes over, it's fine. They got fucking cybernetic can like gothic candle holders in here. The ancient aliens had a sense of style. <laughs> Just see if there. Oh, pardon me a sec. Nah, it's not in there. What do we got?
Probably check Hershey Lenol, actually. I have used her more recently, though. Damage is just nuts. You know, Exoskeleton is such a mad buff that it makes up for just having such a shit shield. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> it's a fine line to walk at. Completely hysterical or completely annoying. Still, it sounds very interesting. I'll probably give that a go. Do we know when the anime is due, or has it just been announced, did you say? Do you know if, what season it's airing in, at least? Or? Oof. I guess Exoskeleton just getting more off. Purity song. Yeah. Just say it'll be this year. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, they didn't have to down it in. Uh... Oh dear. I need to get one. I guess I could use Lauren's one to actually put that up. Just bisected. I should use Exoskeleton. Eh, yeah, whatever. Sue's so doing the job. Enough free program up, it's fine. Get him. I really should use those more. I just kind of keep forgetting about them, which is funny because I tried to spam like the fucking. Uh... Ooh. I tried to spam the fucking double and triple text in Chrono Trigger basically all the time. Cause how could you not? Yeah, I know I just see it last round, but yeah, might as well save myself the walk if nothing else. Actually, yeah, we know two of these gets, so just this one is possibly an issue. That's all where this one down. I mean, at least it only shoots one at a time. See how you do it. Their style did increase, but it is a jump from one to that. That's Exocale only actually lasts the one hit and have not just never been unlucky enough to notice. 
Uh, you might as well keep trying. I lost them. Shit, punch a tank. <laughs> it hits the arts, apparently. See, when it says only one song at a time, well, that overwrites uh, Sives as well, or. No, it doesn't seem to. Pretty cool looking strategy in Death Crime. I don't know. What does it look like? Because if I open this, will the iPad shit itself? Because I just need to look. It's not a video I need to watch. Mm, uh, not really. Oh, fucking look at this. A one bit style. That's pretty neat looking. Like, I respect that graphical style. I think they're like really old, like Mac games and shit. Fucking King's laughter and shit. The fucking possess an enemy a party might you try to heal before the heal goes off. I don't know if I'd call that bad design, really. That boss is annoying, but I don't know if I'd call it bad design. It does look very neat, I must say. Like I actually really like that art style in particular. <laughs> it's when your heals are percent base. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that is nasty. That's true, that is... <laughs> I don't think I had that situation when I was doing it. So. I probably just weathered it better, because I don't remember it being, like, that bad. Dark Blast. Stun you sooner or later. Might as well try. <laughs> Oh well, shit. <laughs> Just fucking kill the man, why don't you? Nah, so... Yeah, she can heal. Actually, no, this will probably die here. I mean, not all your heals are percentage heals, I would hope. You know what I mean? Like, stuff like Cure is in percentage heal. What's that Cure? Do you know what I mean? Are they? 
You sure like that? I don't remember them being percentage shields. Oh, right. Okay. I see what you mean. Yo. I mean, that was my thing, was I just tend to mag just like stick white magic on someone. Only well, magic is percentage, but it's fair enough. It's always just the thing of the sheer pure, like, terror I tend to, like, keep, try and keep you know, like, the basic white and black magic around just in case on someone. Which is just a habit that I've had since, like, fucking Final Fantasy V. That's such a name. Endless power is yours. What do you do? Mobius cycle. She doesn't have anywhere near the hackitude for it, but I'm just kind of wondering. And that's probably why this is so fucking deadly, on top of just being meat house. Is that this one boosts itself? You know, like the other, give it a shot. And if you know, it doesn't stack up as much, we'll just swap back. First computer RPG, the first two no ones were D&D &D and Pettit 5. Devs don't agree on which was released first. So is it like tracking that would be a lot harder for stuff back in those days? Well, pick her poisons. Why do I get the feeling when I get up these stairs, find a treasure chest, then I'll have to walk back down? This one, okay. I'll have to for the other one. Well, depending on how this, what this one's like, we'll either swap back to boy or keep this. Good lord. Fucking hit her. I love my son. CQ power. I feel like Earthquake might be able to take that. More or less. Oh, she's just dead. Pit, you know, that one's not going to let me crop that, so you might as well kill this. Pet five days or D and D, let's say it. D and D says <laughs> the D and D says Pet five was first, and the Pet five disagree with that. That's cosmic. Does it go further? Does like one of them or the others claim that the other game was an inspiration for theirs, and they both say it? So it's kind of like, well, it can't both be both of those. Hello, my son. You're just sitting here staring at me. <laughs> uh, that's beautiful. That's cosmic. The Mandela effect each other affected each other. See, it's one of there. Do that. Oh, you're getting ready to crawl up to sleep, are you? Yeah, he's on. He's making his way to the blanket to curl up. 
Go for it. Yeah, no, <laughs> Void still wins. I think it really is, like, the shield with Exoskeleton doesn't make the difference, though, like, good lord. He just ain't dying. So I'm gonna give you Void back and you'll just rely on Exoskeleton to keep you alive. <sighs> like, the abilities are really good. And she can't use the abilities on this, but all of the stab boss would be immense. He's plucking himself on the Dewey Ball. The indie this, a pedophile was released in 74, inspired them. The pedophile says they only finished it in 75 and had already heard about development of DD before that. That's fucking funny. <laughs> So it could be that there's just a mystery third game that actually predates both, and that was the secret inspiration, but they thought it was Pedit 5. And in the D&D days, I want to reveal that they actually have, like, deeper knowledge of Pedit 5, the sort of knowledge you don't even really have if you played it extensively at the time it came out or something. And then we just start having problems. Only oh, second. Go with it. We'll see how we do. I'm genuinely surprised they let me have that choice. You think I wouldn't be, but I am. I've been down that different route so many times. Oh, look at you. Well, that's unfortunate. That's a significant jump. She knew of that buff. Ah, oh, you are. Hey. You got there. What the fuck? <laughs> Alright. They weren't lying. Is it worth trying? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's an easy suspicion I meant to just eat shit this fight. Yeah. So there's that. Yeah, uh, you don't die instantly in this game. You just get hit so hard that you go into a negative mode, and if you don't fully heal yourself back above zero, uh, you die at the end of that turn. So, it's just doing such catastrophic damage that kinda can't fix it, so... shit. All nines. <laughs> that guy's in Bria's death. Examine two days. No word. Oh. Oh, well, that's great. <laughs> so, I either missed something, or we got a fucking. I don't know, gimmick fight on.
Yeah, no worries, I'm Emily. Good luck studying. I mean, does it matter? I guess. Just, uh. Might as well. Probably should have just attacked that anyway and just make it a straight damage race as much as possible. I feel like you can get close enough of damage that maybe it's possible. Get one more shot. Alright. That's full tilt screaming damage. Go. Literally screaming, just do it. That's fine ish. I just killed her, right, right. Well, shit. That's why she had no style for doing the super. Hmm. close there.
<sighs> Luigi was hungry. Uh, went and fed him. Wouldn't stay and eat his food until I came and sat and watched him eat. Where are you? So, nice fed, now he's back with me. Just closed in. Alright, where were we? Oh yeah, that's good. What well, good it does us. Let's predict. Hey. I mean, like, he usually doesn't. Every so often he just gets a wee bit weird. Hello. Or, like, he just gets a bit fussy and he won't eat unless someone's, like, shows him food and then also sits and, like, sits with him or something. And it's kind of like, okay. Maybe you just want to be social while you eat. I don't know. It only does it sometimes, and I don't get why. I would just keep his food bowl in my room if it wasn't for the fact that my room would start smelling like cat food then. <laughs> and also... Eh, he might actually eat it just fine. Let's go with that. It is. Don't think any of our healing can actually get that off of her, so just scream and go for it. Is it worth trying? No, cure is like not healing this. Um. That yeah, was worth a try. Hello. Worst comes the worst, I will swap out Lauren for no, someone with water or lightning. Or just Zorxiv for more damage. <laughs> he doesn't, yeah, he doesn't want to heal though, but only sometimes. Other times he's perfectly fine with just eating alone. He just sometimes gets a wee bit lonely. He's trying to settle down, but I scratched him and now he's like getting fussy about setting. Fine, I'll, I'll let you be. Attention when he wants it, and only when he wants it. Eh. Can reuse. I don't think he's gonna be able to beat this. Just cut off like the last whatever of a THP by himself. Bless him for trying though. And uh, tap out, go back in. Yar penalty. Eh. I tried to. What do you got for abilities? I haven't used you in a bit. Oh shit. Provided we keep him alive till the end. That could be very handy. It very depends on what order we get hit in.
Nah, you could be true and you're a little loaf. Nah, he's getting ready to saddle down and sleep. <laughs> Worth a try. Ironic. Yeah, take that. So you have the thing to use the vine bolt. Alright, let's try it. Right, go for putting that on Dave just in kiss. Oh, that didn't stun. That's unfortunate. What about you? Oh, shit. Well, we called right at least. Should put the stat the stat buffer in here actually. Uh, I could just get damage in. Yeehaw. Get uh... We'll give him one. He'll be able to survive well, if he gets an attack off. He should be able to survive one hit. So. So this is anyway. Uh... Stun again. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Absolutely. Two tanks. 
feel like opening with the dragon was perhaps a bit crazy only to follow up with two tanks. Ah, it's just raw damage. Sick. I don't give a shit about Earth, so, uh... Just fuck upon him. That was hopeful. Uh, get it off and then put up the buff. So might as well just blast it. Now can you stun one? No, these things are very stun resilient. Might as well, it's a free reusable attack. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, you just over the line. Yeah, you might as well. If you're gonna go down, you might as well pop it before you go. And just, you know, delay it a bit. Yeehaw. Try again? <laughs> nah. We, we, we dumped all the stuns on the other ones. This one's even further behind for that. Well, that's a bit unfortunate. Right before we touch that. Is the party grid down here? <laughs> Might as well try it. Correct call.
Spew. Spew. He's good. Might as well just keep piling. Go hit that one, actually. Fuck it up a good bit. Probably won't kill both of them, but he can take a first stab. Why should I let him do that with Zap, actually? He'll try it. She used the regen song, actually. Actually, those fur damage. One of you will finish it. Sorry, you needed the one specific item to actually make that reusable. I was just wondering. There. Let's see, we had a choice of that fight or this fight. The tank or these guys. Or the ghosts and nah, we have this. Don't want someone with more AoE shit considering there's like a pile of them. Probably do. Could be you. Could be you. Orson, how you do? Oops. shot. Suppose there's no scene or intro or anything for that, we just, we're just going with it. Well, they are all identical. This one it looks a bit weird. Steady on, go down.
That's gotta put them low enough, so we just need Saib to get off a void one, and then we're good. You're gonna break Sue's mighty muscles with your sticks? Clones, but not plot relevant clones, they're just clones. Ooh. We're getting into our once per battle moves a lot, I'm noticing. Probably sure to actually increase this, huh? It's only styles over 100, though, which is a bit of a. That's a burst version of this. Pop Typhoon, you know, we're here. Rave might be worth having, honestly. <laughs> yeah, they just kind of came and went. Just, they're uh, just kind of there. really good. Passive Smash is also pretty good. I don't know how vital that will be. It is a burst as well. I'll go away. We should be fine. Come on. Alright, this is a big ominous room. So, no, it's not actually a big ominous room yet. Got a bit more to go. It looks like the animal. Well, it is a big room. And it's all ominous. A weapon for Arate? Alright. Uh, sort of. <laughs> I probably won't get it at launch because I'm waiting for like other games to come and go. Games I want to expand like, days on. By which I mean Final Fantasy 7. So, I might, like, wait a month or so before I get Animal Crossing, but I do intend to get it. So, you know, I do have the itch to play it. Hi, Molly. Alright. I feel like it's a bit lit in the game for that. Alright, so uh, who do you want to bring in for this? You know what, fucking go for it. <laughs> Just damage up. Yeah, just take something beefy, fuck it. Just get massive. Bully. Yeah, I'll take it. But yeah, I do intend to, to get Animal Crossing, just not right away. Oh, you're in a fucking hell pod. Of course you are. Wouldn't be an ancient alien plot if you weren't in a hell pod, I suppose. <laughs> you call that a new body? You know, the thing I would call it just a big seat, honestly. Ah, her drone. That's sneaky. Well, friend, no more. Integrated arete. It's like the it's I <laughs> I A reverse of AI. I wonder if that's intentional. 
Uh, no weakness, so, uh, it's, fuck it, it's Decker in the face. Probably technically counts as organic, but... And I just get the dukes up. <laughs> I love the Overlord. I haven't listened to many of her songs, but what I have heard was pretty good. Yeah, fuck it, just beating her in the face. Try it. Go for sustain over maintaining your program. Given the damage she is throwing out. This music's built into something. Probably when she pops out of this fucking pod. Whenever she hit whenever she feels like it. Eh, probably should have checked your abilities to give you something beefier than that, considering the odds of the boss being low to the weak the ice were kinda low. Uh, duh -duh. He did kind of call right on um, bringing Zorks in one sense, in that he is uh, you know, ice resilient. Probably can't stun her now. I should have healed Sue, actually. That's fine. Well, it was fine. But a bit less fine than that. We still have the potion. Maybe should have kept the everyone actually just for that heal ability if nothing else. Chunk. Fuck, that stepped up pretty quick. Yeah, we're gonna have to bring someone who's a lot better at healing. Well, group healing at least. She's ramping up that damage very fast. That was kind of organic based on that. Yeah, that's kind of it. Alright. 
kind of wish there was an option just to restart outside the fight instead of having to be kicked back, either redo the fight or get kicked back to the title screen. That's how are you doing? Clark. Fuck. Clark. I mean, there is that. Dies after three turns. That's funny. Stay on the Xbox controller. Yeah. I don't like the idea of having to already place this thing because the D pad's getting fucky. That or Dave? Dave's like full group, he was only one. Chan can do like group defense. Uh, like a group heal for him just you know doing save and quit and then die die heal. Pretty good though. Try it, why not? I'm like catastrophic fucking damage, like good lord. You find it interesting that heals him too. I think we will just need Chan if only for that all group defense up thing, because goddamn.
that's all three of them down already. Like, fucking hell. as well. The red one is, like, it's heavy, but it isn't as bad, at least. Healing. That's a lot of setup for that good healing. Let's do this and then block the everything back and. Jesus Christ. Yeah, no, he's not getting back up from that. Unless <laughs> Clark just dies for real, I guess. There's a tiny little stick when I hit down there, it just gives me the fucking shits. Alright. So he does good damage, but. 
There's a lot of futzing about with it. Mm. Well, we'll see how Dave does. She isn't really a machine though, it's like the uh, Zorx's thing was doing damage to her for being organic, so... We can but try. Probably could have saved that, but well, well, we can get it back if he just sits for a turn. The fact that the second hit just does gigatons of damage, like right out of the fucking gear. for most of the game actually. There is a lot of robot enemies to be fair. I probably should have used them more than I did. She didn't check her equipment at all. I really should have done that first. It's that. That second one does just such stupid fucking damage. Like, tons of it. I'm not really sure what I have that can really stop it. It rage lowers AoE. I didn't actually know that at all, <laughs> to be fair. <laughs> I don't have Enrage on there, so I should probably put that back on. Oh, that just killed him, alright, well fuck me then. Right there, Saib. Saib. There he goes. <laughs> and now he's just straight up dead again. My God damn. Well, 
Alright, let's try that again. Uh, well, this is basically not going to be helping as much then. There we go. So we'll save in this room to save us a bit of time. from a super turn so it can have a higher effect. Try it. Okay, it didn't stick. He can just park next turn and then get it back for his hyper turn. get the stick so I guess just I don't know if that was because I used it twice or if it always will just resistance isn't enough to stop it when uh, it's a super turn that's good to know I mean that's still mountains of damage like fucking hell Fire one was single target, I know, but like the other one was still just mountains of damage. I guess side is just <coughs> wake the ice, I guess. Still enraged, at least. I really haven't used Exoskeleton, actually, but... It's finding a turn for it. Enraged lasts forever? Well, that's good. That's their kiss, uh... Yeah. Very nice. Right. Oh, fried. I guess, you know, it is the Void thing. It's really hurting him. I didn't even remember I had him with the Void armor, and that's very, very weak for those powerful spells. So I don't wonder if those powerful spells are worth it in the long run. Probably not. At least not for this fight. When we can resurrect him, though, wait till everyone else is beginning to go down. Or when Dave is starting to go down so he can kick it off. Um. Yeah. Case. I will try it out as well.
Get that potion. Give us just another turn of shit before we do the full heal. That's uh, basically gonna have to be this turn, so. Shit that well, unless he's done and he used to revive, so that's pretty much it. And he's just dead too. Didn't that say once you can use it again? Well, it was only very little this time, but... Nah, they're all just dead, so fuck it. What was even the point? Am I underleveled or something? Because, like, I feel like I've done a fair job of fighting everything I've faced to this point, but she's just fucking destroying me no matter what. Actually, they should have checked that when the ship before around the fight, whatever. Did you? Do you have... Does good old game have achievements or whatever you can see and check? If it has those? Because <coughs> if you did and you made me go on the higher difficulty, I'm going to be very frowny. And then I will switch it down. Oh, your steam. Either or. Actually, Google Games. Does it have achievements? It, it, Hard West did, I'm pretty sure. So it must do. Uh, let's, this time, let's try. We'll just let him do that on his hyper turn and see if that's all it takes. So, in lieu of that. <laughs> Ah, uh, fair. That makes sense. It's kind of preferable, to be honest. Cause, like, people who are like, there's no achievements on this game, so I won't even touch it, are fucking lunatics. Like, you're not, the, like, if you're there for the achievements, like, you are, like, why are you playing video games to begin with? Just play, like, Cookie Clicker or something. Forever. Let's set up the heal beam, everyone. You do your exoskeleton, actually. Let's see how we do. Right. Okay, yeah, it just needs to be the hyper. That's good. No, no, no. Dude. Screw him. Just a slash. So we're not doing spells a lot. I mean, that helps. I think really I should just give Scythe. I should just drop the spells off Scythe and give him, like, actual armor. Instead of the magic. Just so. Because survivability is the bigger issue.
As that gives, ah, well, fuck. I was about to say, at least that gives Sai tiny his HP up, but then she followed up anyway. Hello, Mamu. We've come back in time for suffering. The one thing most logical. <laughs> hey, that's one way of doing it. I guess that means there's no achievements for difficulty then. Get up, you fool. I do have the foo heal still, I should remember that. Papa Potion. She really pretty much probably give her Echo back over this one. And then she can follow up the heal again to heal someone else who just got fucking destroyed and murdered. And you might as well give him a chance to hit this up for free. There's actually two secret bosses. Being the first battle on Max Level and nothing else. Okay. Two secret bosses. Interesting. That yep, better be this one. If he dies, that's basically it, and we lose that ability, so he might as well use it when he's going down. Jesus Christ. Yeah, we're gonna have to give him better armor, because the, the void spells are do so much damage, but like the armor difference is just not, like, ridiculous. Hmm. Nah, I wouldn't. Oh. Well, he doesn't have it back. Well, that's unfortunate. That's okay, damage. Nah, you don't think you can heal that. Yep. One last one as you go down. Immediately just smacked in the dead. Like, that's it, she's just fucking dead. That's actually a really good revive. It's probably because you have a load of style. She's just gonna kill. Yep, Sive's dead again. She's probably gonna die this turn. Alyssa, I mean. Oh. oh. Well, just fuck me then, alright. She doesn't. You can stun her and she'll still just act anyway. Oh, cause she moves twice per turn, so she will just act anyway. Fantastic.
And they got close that time. Yeah, the loop on the third movie does look fucking insane. Like, for 3D CG, that's ridiculous. It looks better than any 3D CG thing, any, like, anywhere. Like, any animation, anime, like, movie in general. I do also still prefer 2D, but, like, if, you know, you have to have 3D CG, and it looked like that, it's like, well, you know what? Can't argue, really. That looks fucking grit. Alright, Let's try you with... I know we're losing the Hell Shield, but... Eh. What good does it do us, really? That's the best for defense. Well, not like we're gonna be using money, so you might as well, I suppose. See how you do. Oh, that's why he survives the first hit so well. Has a lot. You pop that one on and we'll swap back the chin. Give her that one so that her she's more survivable. You like you're pretty good. Now I'm probably about to bring it over here, which is, you know, the, even all it's I'd say we're coming over here. You know, our publishers lately have been on a kick about cinema runs, they've been doing very well for them. You did play on heroin difficulty, what am I on? I'm on heroin. Alright. What level were you though? If, well, if your save file might not be indicative of that if you did like post game stuff and all actually. No real post game. Huh. Fair enough. That's a lot better. That's a hell of a lot better. Six at the end, fifty-three before point and no return. I'm only like my highest are only like level fifty-nine, so I am slightly under. Only if like I'm fifty-nine at the end, so I'm six levels under where he was. Maybe that makes the difference. I don't, know. I don't feel like six would be like that much of a a kingmaker on that though. Uh, I think I've tried applying rust here, and it, I don't know if it's stuck or not. I've used the attack that does it, I think, but I don't know if it actually stuck. It might be that I can only really stick during the hypers, in which case we'll just have to wait around. 
for him to come back around. This is a lot better though, at least because Saib isn't dying super hard constantly. In fact, he's not really being hurt anymore. It's kind of funny. I can try it. No, okay, so you're probably going to need multiple uses or the... Uh, thing. Oh, I'm at it. You know what? Fuck it, go for it. Still didn't take. Are you sure Rust will work? Because I'm pretty sure she's an organic boss. Because, like, Zorx's attack that does bonus against uh, organics jumped up to, like, 2000, even on, like, non hyper when he did it on her. She's usually a fairly good indicator of. Phew. Yeah, that's good enough to compete with the fuck. That easily, actually, better than what the voids were doing. Cash is the greatest supply of power among everything. Uh, let me try it. <laughs> Finn also has an enrage. The one guy I didn't use. Uh, yeah, let's do that, and then we'll stack up for the group heal. Uh, yeah, we punish your exoskeleton just in case. yourself, it's fine. Oh, she's probably just gonna dump on you anyway, so hey. Yep. Because they're a shotgun. <laughs> That's fair. I just kind of skipped over him entirely. Except for when the game mandated his use. Never really got to know him. I think this generally making Sai but like, you know, not die continuously forever was probably the key of it. That hurt though. Might as well patch him back up. So do have Dia's heal. Oh, Dia's gonna have to use an ISO rip. Oh, 
We no longer have Div 2. Oh, he's dead. And it all falls apart. Just have to get the big hits in. She's so very close. There we go. Like, fucking hell, though. I doubt that's her final form, either. Yeah, getting the shields all swapped up was pretty key there. The giant robot king. I was expecting that to open up, actually. Robobob. <laughs> Are they? <laughs> Nasty sword. Mark one. Well, that bodes well, doesn't it? It's better everything. Oh, uh, you're robotic, so hopefully this will tick. At least it physically flinched at that. So, you know, that's encouraging. And now get this off first and then do your exo. So you're doing pretty well for defenses as is. Now you've got our heal happens in between his two moves. That's cheeky. Gigamancer. I mean, so far so reasonable. <laughs> I know your true self, Robo Bob. You can't lie to me. I mean, fuck it, go for it, actually. Even Hyper, it didn't help. Well, shit. Money Blast! Now you started to do the appreciable damage. The real shit. to be safe. I'll do the hack actually just for the damage. Yes. Uh, 
Prepare for heal. Read the description of the boss. I did read it, yeah. It's, it's a bit everything. But he hasn't been taking the any statuses so far, so... Ah, actually, I'll see that for next turn. There isn't rage stuck. That's good. Yeah, I mean that would stop one attack. You might as well just go for a blast. He'll do. Yeah, no, our turn out of him before we pop that heal. And yeah. Turn out of Mark One at least is nice and. Yeah, something we can contend with. With the Eternity Mark too, that will go back to fucking us in pieces. <laughs> yeah, I feel you there, Emily. Honestly, I kind of wish none of these had to take exams anymore. Just because I know the sufferer. I've traded in exams for having to deal with a test team who just basically don't do their own fucking work half the time. They run tests and then whenever they fall over, instead of investigating why, they just kind of report anything that went wrong as a bug to fix. Even when, you know, it's simply just them. They didn't check their fucking data set. They didn't update it. They didn't pay attention to the rules. One time the guy didn't read the first fucking line of the card saying this check is in this spot and all the rest of it. Every so often you remember you hear about how like testers, you know, were on the dying flow, because it's like, oh developers are doing their own testing. It's like, well that's sad. But then you deal with a test team like this and you're kinda like, you know what? Maybe testers are like should go extinct. I don't know. Call me crazy. Now we run behind him to the next chamber where Eternity Mark II is. I mean, that's pretty sick. Look at that fucking thing out there. Infinity Mark I. Well, shit. Ah, it's a three part or two. Ah, Maternity Mark too. Well, hell. Hmm. I don't know who does what, so let's just try to rust the face. Single, single, area, right. There's been a wee bit since I've had a boss that has like a big three-parter body shit. Eh. Fuck it, try it. 
Yeah. Yeah, might as well, even if you want to do an attack, actually. Might as well set up for this. Pium. Pium. Alright. Well, that's a bit unfortunate. I paused briefly because I was looking for the cursor in the middle. I couldn't see it, but it's, it's fine. It's still hit. Oh, fuck it. Go for it. So far, so reasonable. What's the catch? That's actually a fuck ton of damage. <laughs> uh, that's such a lion. I can't wait to be able to specialize in theoretical physics so I don't need to see experimental physics again. <laughs> I would have thought the two were pretty much the same thing, but... I suppose experimental is a step ahead of theoretical. I like to lie down in the bed, kitty cat, don't you judge me. There we go. Now the damage comes out. Or at least on Dave, anyway. This music's pretty banging, though, I have to say. I honestly thought that was just a void in the floor below. I didn't realize that was actually glass you could run on. Get started on that one. And it's worth a shot. Just be meteor, Dev. God damn. All right, everyone, shut on.
I suspect the guns will probably get back up at some point, but... You know, while we have this cavalcade of turns... <laughs> I get the feeling that the study of uh, the study of experimental physics is probably a lot more than the university work. Of, you know, it's probably a, you know a bit more involved or a bit less headache-inducing than the actual university work. Just by that description, that does make sense though. So you got a Mark III back there, or...? Or is the energy sphere just gonna go, like, space nuclear now? That's unfortunate. 120,000. Alright, so just f fuck away with them. Just get pounding. Stuck there for a second. I was very confused. Like, why? I kind of wish they just shot from where they were sitting. Whatever that's worth. She does be damaging this almost, so just fuck it, go for it. That's such damage. Does indeed take a while to charge up. Still not in sight yet. Which is concerning more than anything.
dense matter theory, astral particle physics, or quantum field theory. Which one lets you brick the universe? <laughs> I don't know. What do you What do you currently like? Do or really aim for? I guess. <laughs> or what do you understand? That's probably also a good way to, to track it. That's still the blue cannon. That's fine. Think yes. making sure I'm paranoid when this thing gets the move I probably should have just guarded and got a viral hack back for that. Oh well. One way or another, it is a race against time, but the amount of damage is a bit of Oh, that hits everyone, right? I always just used the other gun on C1 turn, and then did that on her hyper turn, but whatever. It, it's coming. Alright, that's not good. How reasonably do you think we could kill this? Oh, you mad man. Shit. Yeah, that's about right. Okay, that didn't work exactly as I'd hoped. It's fine. <laughs> It'd be kind of funny if someone learned an ability now. I have not ended the game on level 56. <laughs> Probably choose condensed matter theory.
until we realize we're stuck. Continued life outside of an alien hellbind? <laughs> I guess it is part ghost, so it'll probably survive this no matter what. So there's some pretty sick base destruction going on though. I mean, exploding over Planet Roma's atmosphere probably ain't the best. <laughs> the fairies tend to be annoying fights in, I've found in these games. Although, like, nothing kind of tops fucking, like, ultimate fairy in really default. Just in biophysics, it was closely related to condensed matter theory. Specialized a second time during a second master semester putting more condensed matter theory or programming computer simulations. I mean, that's like something forward thing. That also sounds very interesting, actually, programming simulations for your work. Well, at least we managed to, like, follow through on this. Gets their little endings. Where that fucker go? How oh, very Final Fantasy VI. I just noticed that's a part of love. <laughs> I was gonna say Finn doesn't get a reanimatic. <laughs> That'd have been funny if he didn't. <laughs> Fucking cop. I wish the game had voice acting, but just for Orson. Like, he was just doing a Max Payne voice. I mean, he's got, like, that kind of look of him. Ah, oh, that's funny. <laughs> Oh, 
Eh... You kind of forget he has eyes. Oh good, we actually do get to see him descend and rip and tear. He does look so different without the glasses. The completely different atmosphere and everything. She's done until you come knocking with a new job. That's Cosmic Star Heroin. It's an interesting one. I think in terms of like RPG game gameplay design, it's actually like extremely fucking good. And I don't. Th I think we're done. I don't think I can put my shit together enough for the super bosses, given the trouble I had at the end there. At least not like going for like a few hours of grinding or whatever the hell. They will most certainly just the key of my fucking shit in, probably. But yeah, um. What was that? Yes, like in terms of RPG gameplay, it's actually very well. Very well done. Like, how all the fights being handcrafted and specifically set helps that a ton. Like, you yeah. know. That helps a lot when it comes to balancing and being able to like fit everything together. There's a whole lot, it's like a fucking ton of cohesion and combos and all sorts of shit across your many different team members you can pull off. And it's actually like kind of stunning how well a lot of them work together. And all sorts of like different party combinations and approaches to shit you can do. Like it's kind of mad. On the flip side, I feel like handcrafting all the fights and everything naturally means there's only so much you can put in the game, and I feel like the entire thing is like a hyper-compressed, uh... Is that kind of hyper-compressed version of a classic JRPG? Like... It was moving so fast at the start, like, the first, like, five, six chapters. I thought it was, like, gonna be over, like, you know, chapter seven, with the speed it was going. And fair to it did keep going, but it does kind of just fucking sprint through everything in terms of plot like you there's like basically no time between like your you know like your intro to your first two guys the sort of work they do and then immediately the director like sends you for a mind control vice device is fucking evil you rebel off you go and that all happens in like three hours that's like just fucking like chop chop get moving still though for like a little you know like a small level and especially because it's really very cheap that is extremely good. That is like very fun to play. And like, they do have a good sense for like designing a fucking fun RPG. And it does have like enough charm and humor and stuff going on to be worth it, even if like, the actual main plot is just kinda not up to much just by virtue of the like, speeding like moving so fucking fast. But yeah, I quite enjoyed that. <laughs> That'll be the next Christmas one. <laughs> uh, hello. Is Crosscode by the same guys or is that a different one? You never will, Amamily. In your darkest moments, you'll 
It will come back to you. Completely different team, fair enough. That's a lot of Matthews. But yeah, no, that, that's definitely like War for a Good World. Pardon me. This is their longest. That's true to be fair, Breath of Death 7 did, was very short. I remember that much. I mean, that was what, like, 14, 15 hours? Even though they're shortest, they're still like longer and more packed than some actually big games. Sir Victor Island, Lord of Nerd Nasio. Disgusting. The Gavin family. My god. The lost ones. Tommy Doghead. Shush, girls front line. And you. I always like it when games do that. It is even funny if you're a backer playing though and you get and you as well. <laughs> ah, cheeky gets. <laughs> oh, that, that speaks to me. By the dev whose Twitch stream I once watched, and one of them said that many people probably didn't buy it against it. Oh, yeah. I remember you talking about that stream. I mean, they're putting, you know, as I think as I said then, yeah, they're probably right. There's an unfortunate stigma associated with that, and it's not really any fault of RPG Maker itself, really. Nothing like an RPG maker. I mean, that's the thing, like, people don't care. Like, they, they just see RPG maker, I think that looks kind of like RPG maker, and then they shit themselves and don't give it the fair chance it gets. I wonder how many did this scene for this one. I don't know what they're fucking missing. Straight up action on different engines. So it's not even RPG maker. It's fucking nuts. I shouldn't. He's sleeping. Yeah. Remember, we're a bit over 11, so that actually need to be done. Um, I think my next stream is gonna be the weekend one with Chris, probably, and that's because it was gonna be. I was gonna hope to start at Invisible Ink on like Friday, which is the next game up. But uh, David has got his new computer. He's got it together extremely quick. And I just saw, like, during the stream, there were, like, messages on my iPad on Discord. See him saying that he's got Dark Souls remastered together and he's got, like, the randomizer mod going. So he's going to give his new rig a big whirl and have this, like, stream Dark Souls randomizer on Thursday or Friday. So I'll probably just clear away and let him have at it for that. And the next time I'll be on stream will be... Whatever fucking day in the weekend we do the podcasting. And then sometime next week it will be either Invisible Ink or it will be uh, the Continuum Turbulence event in Girls Frontline, because why not? Even if only a bit of it, probably not the whole thing given the length of it. Oh, actually that might be in the second half of the week because there's prep stuff I want to do. Don't worry, I will. I made note to go back up through the OBS chat on... Yeah, OBS is chatting. Grab that link. But yeah, that's me for the night. So, uh, I guess I'll see you in Davis stream chat. And then, on the podcast. And then either Invisible Ink or Girls Frontline, whichever one comes first. So yep. Good night, fellas. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you then. Sleep well. <laughs>